here is a Sony communications receiver model ICF 6700W and so far this is the highest performance receiver that I've used out of all the ones I've tested it's even better than the Zenith Transoceanic I think as far as uh, just bringing in difficult to receive stations especially FM stations it does have a few little problems with it but none too severe the on off switch got snapped off and the power cord is not the original. The previous, I guess the handle is also missing on the side. The previous owners did a retrofit power cord with some uh, Molex terminals and heat shrink tubing. I added some additional heat shrink tubing for better protection. It just had one layer on it and part of the terminal uh, was exposed so I just kind of improved on the, the uh, insulation on that. It's got a voltage selector for 110 or 220 and external antenna terminals. Although it does really well with the internal antennas. And it's got a, a map of time zones, kind of like the transoceanic. Let's see if I can if I can get both fingers in here and see if I can lift it up here. And I don't know if the loop antenna is in is in here or what. I think and here's the battery compartment but it doesn't seem like this this stays up. I would, you'd think there'd be a way to make it make it stand up and it has controls for RF gain and bandwidth. I think the bandwidth only is functional on AM and shortwave and it's got a digital frequency display which is really pretty accurate. I think it's an analog tuner but it's got a uh, digital display and I've seen some cheaper radios like Sears uh, stereo receivers uh, that have this kind of display and it's it's pretty accurate but not maybe not exact but this one really seems to be exact as far as when you're tuned to an actual station that's when you get the best signal strength so first let's do a dial scan of the FM band and uh, just turn the volume up here. There's no, the power switch is not functional. I'll have to just set up some kind of an external switch for it. Let me see if I can hold the camera with this hand. shoes and a whole lot more stick around enjoy the music thank you for listening que ni, ni podemos acordarnos de diversos ministerios, sí. diversos llamados eh, a carismas distintos. NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Michelle Norris. And I'm Rock. Okay, there's
there's supposed to be a station here. I've got carrier, but no audio. The automation computer must be, uh, must not be working right. And that station has carrier, but no audio. Wonder if there. I think that these stations are owned by Cumulus, so maybe there's a, a common failure mode at their uh, studios. Ana, gracias, señor, por hacerme tan preciosa, tan bonita. Sí, levante. another cumulus station with carrier and no audio. You know what probably happened is that the of course the transmitter sites are remote and the studio probably lost power and there may not be backup facilities or maybe they're not working at the studios so there's no audio going to the to the transmitters. Good. I mean, there's so much damage that's already been done in terms of tarnishing our reputation. You know, we are the biggest economy in the world for the gold standard. Um, that's all up in question now. And on top of that, I mean, confidence has been shaken internally among companies who are already delaying hiring, investing, and they're just going to be stockpiling more because of this. So. So there's the AFM dial scan. I'll now try to do one for AM. <laughs> <laughs> 